Hello, and welcome to this week's very important presentation from VIP University. This week, we're going to talk about something very important. It's Christmas and our traditions. Where do they come from? Why do we use candy canes? Why do we set up Christmas trees? Why do we drink eggnog? These questions and more will be answered in this week's presentation. Thanks for joining us. So where did Santa Claus come from? Well, it all started in London in 1763 when this crazy old band with rabies started giving kids crudely made wooden toys. You see, because of his rabies, he had foam all over his face that would originate from his mouth. This made it look like he had a big white beard. He also had once white clothing, but it was now dyed red from his oozing sores, which were because of his leprosy. The poor old guy had rabies and leprosy, which meant that nobody wanted to go near him. It also didn't help that he had very sharp fingernails and called himself Satan Claus. Anyways, he loved giving kids these little wooden toys, but because the parents wouldn't let their children go near him, he started sneaking into their homes. The front door wasn't always an option, so he started going in through their chimneys. These children would get his leprous germs on their hands and would also become lepers, which started the legend that we know today, the legend of Santa Claus, wearing red clothes, having a big white beard, and giving people gifts via their chimneys. So where did Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer come from? Well, it all started when a young Rudolph Giuliani, known today as Rudy Giuliani, grew up on a Native American reservation. He was not well accustomed to the cold and often got a bright red nose in the wintertime. One night, during the Rain Deer Games, in which the Native Americans would dress as deer and dance around to appease the rain gods, Rudy Giuliani dressed up as a deer in a very culturally insensitive costume, and all of the Native Americans laughed at him for trying to join in on their reindeer games. His bright red nose shone brighter than ever, and thus the legend was born. But it didn't catch on until Rudy Giuliani brought this idea to CBS and sold it for millions of dollars back in 1963. So where did the Christmas tree come from? Well, this old woman named Janice Macarena would put all these fake trees in her house. And her 40-year-old loser son named Barney liked to make ugly elementary level drawings and put it all over the tree. Janice let it go for a while, but eventually she grew tired of his ugly artwork and set the trees on fire, all of them. This created a festive glow that made everybody from the neighborhood gather around and feel its warm Yuletide charm. Of course, this killed Janice and Barney, but it started a tradition in the neighborhood. People started gathering their own fake trees and placing crudely made drawings and artwork on it, then setting it on fire. Of course, this was unsustainable until the Walmart CEO saw it as an opportunity to make money. And instead of setting the trees on fire, they strung Christmas lights on them. This caught on quickly, and that is why today we have Christmas trees. So where did eggnog come from? Well, it all started when this Iowa farmer looked out at his chicken coop and thought, you know what, I want to be like Rocky Balboa and drink some raw chicken eggs. So he brought those raw chicken eggs in, blended them up, and thought, this tastes terrible. So he threw in some potpourri that his dead aunt had given him and also threw in a lot of liquor. He chugged this thing almost down to nothing and he wound up naked on his back porch. He ended up freezing to death that night. When the investigators arrived, they noticed this drink sitting on the porch. So they tried some. They also brought it home to their families and later that night, all of those investigators involved also ended up dead, naked, on their back porches, 
frozen to death because of the sub-zero temperatures. So how did stockings come to be? Well, it all started when this guy named Leroy got in a really terrible rugby accident and lost one of his legs. Because of this, he inevitably had to always be angry as he purchased pairs of socks, only needing one of the socks. As a gag gift, he would often take the other sock, fill it with a bunch of crap from his drawers and give it out to people. This caught on and eventually people started doing the same thing, filling their stockings with tiny bottles of Listerine, tiny packets of soap, and of course, an orange at the toe for some reason. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something in this week's VIP presentation on Christmas traditions. Make sure you subscribe so you can be just as jolly as jolly old St. Nicholas himself. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Bye.